Greetings everyone. Manupatra brings to you the news highlights of 10th November 2022. Starting with the Supreme Court, the Chief Justice of India has stated that all matters registered on Saturdays, Mondays and Tuesdays will be listed on the next Monday and the matters registered on Thursdays and Fridays will be listed on the next Friday. This way there will be an automatic date given and there will be an automatic listing. If somebody has any urgency, the Supreme Court shall be available for mentioning. Otherwise, the Supreme Court will be able to sort out with these directions. The Supreme Court has held that a specific issue on readiness and willingness on the part of the plaintiff must be framed by the trial court in a suit for specific performance. The Supreme Court has held that the purpose for which the land acquisition is made is also a relevant factor for determining the market value. The court while cautioning all insurance companies has held that if they do not mandatorily comply with the IRDA regulation 2002 then their right to repudiate insurance contract taking recourse to any terms and conditions including the exclusion clauses would be taken away. The court has held that offenses under the Kerala Police Act are not substantive offenses and thus the election of a person cannot be voided merely because he failed to disclose the conviction under that law news from the high courts starting with the delhi high court the delhi high court while refusing to stay the mcd elections which are scheduled to be held on december 4 has stated that it is a settled position of law that once an election notification is published the same cannot be stayed by the court the high court has held that the reassessment notice based on an error resulting from the oversight of the assessing officer is not valid the high court while taking notice of large pendency and lack of a uniform method for prioritization of cases in the district consumer forums has issued directions for ensuring expeditious disposal of the consumer matters news from the bombay high court The Bombay High Court has held that the retrospective termination of the former chief executive of ICICI Bank Chanda Kochar from the bank in 2019 is prima facie a valid termination. The Bombay High Court at Goa has held that combined weight of lysergic acid diethylamide drug otherwise known as LSD and blotting paper carrying it is necessary to ascertain if the seized drug is of a small or commercial quantity and impose punishment under NDPS act accordingly news from the other high courts the rajasthan high court while hearing a petition seeking release of their 5 plus years old grandson who is suffering from a rare disease from alleged illegal detention of his mother has ordered petitioners to first deposit sum of rupees 50000 towards litigation costs which may arise for the mother the meghalaya high court has started the live streaming of its proceedings on youtube in an attempt to benefit young lawyers who will get the opportunity of witnessing senior advocates from other parts of the country participate on virtual platform which will raise the standard and aspirations of the youth The Madras High Court has held that Isha Foundation will come within the purview of educational institutions as per clarification issued by the central government in 2014 with regard to entities that are exempted from getting mandatory environmental clearance before commencing construction work. The Punjab and Haryana High Court has held that a mother even if she is mentally ill is entitled to the custody of minor child especially if the child is below the age of 5 years unless the mental illness is such that it shall be detrimental to the health of the child this concludes the news for today thank you so much